I've come across a lot of monkeys on my travels through Asia. Some are pretty cool, some aren't. Like this marauding gang across from the Taj Mahal in Agra, India, constantly terrorizing and vandalizing the homes nearby in search of food. Neighbors and merchants using firecrackers, BB guns, almost anything to keep them from ransacking their houses. In the great fort of Chittagong in Rajasthan, India, I came across this nasty langur monkey. This one is a total asshole. They won't let me in. It's really aggressive. I distracted him long enough for a French man to escape this temple, but then he wouldn't let me in. Feeding them can lead to even a worse outcome, like for this lady in Kolkata, India. Shit. Sometimes they just outright dive bomb you, like what happened to me in Ubud, Bali. No, go! Go on! Get out of here! It's a real problem in Asia. Humans encroaching more and more on nature. As a result, these conflicts are on the rise. In the southern Taiwan city of Kaohsiung, there seems to be a better balance between people and the endemic Formosan rock macaque. But reports in recent years claim the resident population is becoming more aggressive. So I started a hike at the Longshuan Buddhist Temple in Sushan Park to find out for myself what the current conditions were like here. I'm no expert, but I would at least get an idea if there were any safety concerns for the average hiker. Right away, I could see managing the situation between people and monkeys is a major concern here. Signs are everywhere, warning of the penalties for feeding them. Stiff fines if you're caught. This area is also nicknamed Monkey Mountain. It seems to be right out of a jungle movie set. Limestone, ancient coral reef and shellfish fossils, ferns, bamboo, banyan trees are just some of the features of this subtropical park. Trails are clearly marked with English signs, so it's easy to get around. Finally, the first Formosan macaque spotted. This friendly group I met at one of the tea stations were armed with a slingshot for thieving monkeys. The tea stations are throughout the park and seem to be where the aggressive monkeys congregate. Still searching for more monkeys, I came across more of the amazing coral found throughout the area. A lone monkey here or there, but I had heard of a kind of monkey village from my tea station friends that I just had to see. Amazing views of Taiwan Strait. It seemed I was getting closer to my goal. Sure enough, this is what I was looking for. The Monkey District. The Formosan rock macaques in their natural environment. This seemed to be what was lacking in my travels throughout Asia, seeing these creatures in their own habitat watching behaviors more typical of animals in the wild. There didn't appear to be a widespread problem of conflict between these macaques and humans. With the odd incident at a tea station, they seem to have their own space here, uncaring of my company. They weren't the thieving bandits or ransacking marauders raiding homes and terrorizing neighborhoods I'd come to know. This scene and the efforts in Taiwan to protect the macaques in their natural environment is a step in the right direction.
I really enjoyed my day here in Sushan National Park and on Monkey Mountain. There's nothing more spiritual than watching animals in the wild, indifferent to our presence, just being. For FarEastAdventureTravel.com, this is John Sabo from Monkey Mountain in Kaohsiung, Taiwan.